Hello, it's Jimmy here at the release. So, got here to look at a Ford Transit Courier. So, this vehicle has got a very long story behind it. It's had replacement DPF, and um, this is the old one. It's had a new EGR valve, exhaust gas, temperature sensors, DPF pressure sensor, uh, NOx or sensors. Oh, he's, the list goes on. He's given me a list for about a half an hour of what parts have been replaced on it. First thing I'm a little bit surprised about is the relevant, but this is the key. I'm like, what? This is, like, this is one of the keys from like a 2001 Ford Focus. That fits in the ignition. Didn't realise they still. Well, I don't know what the story is behind that key, but it don't look like the original key, does it? It's got an engine management light on. Uh, 7,800 miles apparently on the clock. I'm going to use the launch Eurotab 3. Set up a scan. This is the Euro Tab 3 from Launch UK, this one. High speed scan. Right, let's see what we're looking at. Speaker. Particle filter, pressure too low, particle filter, deteriorated substrate missing. Right, so what I do know is the DPF filter that's on it is not an original filter, it's not from Ford, so could be a case that the pressure is too low on this filter, maybe that's why they're running around, they've put a new filter on it, which it probably didn't need. I can't see how it would need a new filter with that mileage on it. Um, no, let's go back. Let's go to data stream. Uh, differential pressure. There you go. And the voltage to the sensor. not moving let's go back we had two options there for that another one there all right we've got no no reading whatsoever from the DPF if we accelerate it up we're not getting any movement we're getting a little bit of movement on the voltage but not the pressure so if we rev it up the voltage drops down Hmm, I can see... Oh, that's not happening there. Oh, there you go. You can't see it on camera, but if you accelerate it, I'm getting black smoke. Now, black smoke shouldn't happen if we've got a DPF in there, so... I'm thinking maybe someone's cut the DPF out. Yeah, that's definitely left a black patch. Is that where the exhaust is? Yes, it is. That DPF is not working. So it looks like someone's been bodging around. You can see new clips, loads of splits on the cables down there. Sensors all connected up correctly. So what's going on? So you can see that the DPF, or at least the catalyst, is inside. It doesn't look like it's been drilled out. Okay, so I've just taken off the air pipe down here. I'm going to get the sensor out, see if we can see if the sensor is working or is it. I don't know if the sensor is dodgy at the minute or has the vehicle been remapped? Possibly. So it looks like it's maybe had the differential pressure sensor disabled or this one's not working. Okay, so I've got the sensor connected to pressure gauge. I'm going to put some pressure in it. Look at the live data. It's not moving. So has it been remapped or has the, is the sensor not working? Let's plug the sensor out and watch the voltage. So we'll get 5 volts back if we unplug the sensor. Check the pins, we've got 5 volts and 5 volts here too. And we'll just set it to continuity there for the earth. Yep, 
Okay, so that's the sensor that's fitted there. I looked at my van, I've got something like looks similar. Let's see if that fits. Okay, connect that sensor up and we'll put some some pressure in here. Yep. See that's reading exactly what we're putting in there, about 500. There we go. So it's customers just said that this has been to Ford. And they just diagnosed it as it needs a, a new DPF again. Um, he didn't mention anything about the sensor not working. Off. Sometimes we find it hard to believe if it's been to the Ford dealership and they didn't figure out that the sensor's not working. But I think they maybe are right. It probably does need a new DPF as well. Okay, I've got a new sensor back in. We're going to start the engine up now and see um, what pressure we're getting with the engine running. So it looks like six or seven millibars. Okay, we'll get back in the van now. So we have seven millibars at idle. Uh, we have, let's see, 3,000 millibars, sorry, 3,000 RPM, 45 millibars. That is a pretty, pretty good reading, to be honest. But I know we are getting soot past the DPF. Saying that, you know, a lot of that soot could be in there from the old DPF. It's just had a new DPF fitted. It doesn't look new, but he swears it's definitely brand new. He's seen it come out of the package. Um, right, so looks like we've figured out the problem. Okay, we're going to do some programming now. We're going to program in the sensor and program in the DPF it looks like as well that someone has obviously they've changed the DPF but not not programmed it in let me have a look I need to go through all of these particle filter learn values reset that get that programmed in so tell her the new filter has been installed here yeah. Uh, reset the particle filter pressure sensor. Okay, so it does take some time for the component to learn into the vehicle. number of drive cycles okay so it's saying that you may not get the correct reading until you do a couple of uh, driving cycles okay now I can clear the fault memory and confirm that we have no codes in the system okay on a test drive everything seems to be fine we're not got any lights that are coming back at the moment Done maybe three or four miles now. We've got another another little bit to get back to where we are. So now, after a test drive, it is given the particle matter sensor um, fault. Now, either that particle matter sensor is faulty, particle matter sensor circuit high would probably suggest that it's a faulty sensor. But if it's got a particle matter sensor, it's going to pick up the soot is getting past the DPF. So it's going to need a new DPF. Um, before we can go any further and then possibly a particle matter sensor as well um, so not good news now it's already had a DPF fitted but asking the customer what you know it's, it's already had a new sensor as well before that one I fitted and the sensor and the DPF was purchased from eBay so uh, of course there, there can be good quality items on eBay but if we're just given a generic uh, eBay part, it could be from anywhere, it could be some cheap part. Of course, it's not working, so we know the parts that he's, the bolts of parts that he's suppl been supplied are not working, so the particle filter pressure sensor and the particle filter itself, um, they're both not working, even though they've been replaced before. Uh, so if we look at the soot, after the test drive I mean everything 
on live data here looks okay to be honest but differential pressure differential pressure is probably going to be a little bit higher than it was because obviously we've been given a few revs to try and get the temperature up it's a little bit higher than you'd like it sort of they usually sit around six or seven um, but we haven't we haven't got a block DPF we've got a, a damaged DPF because it's getting soot pass and we also maybe need a particle matter sensor the matter sensor is after the DPF it's and it, it sort of like a laser it picks up if you're getting particles come past the DPF and if it has it flags up so it's basically a device that they fitted to stop you cheating uh, or drilling a hole through the DPF to let some of the pressure out because it will pick up the particle matters right so this is where we are new DPF needed probably a particle matter sensor needed as well so looking at the old DPF that is damaged as well so I was thinking maybe you could put the old one back on if it's not damaged but it is so that's it was basically finished on this um, so because this has got a particle matter sensor um, if this was a an older version so a Euro 5 the pressure seems okay in the DPF so it would have been fine but because it's got a particle matter sensor it is going to pick up any sort of DPF particles that are getting past and that's why you're going to keep getting a particle matter sensor fault even if you put a new particle matter sensor on it it's going to give you um, a, a P2002 code uh, because the DPF is letting soot pass you can see the patch it's leaving on the floor there when you accelerate it so unfortunately any car that's got a particle matter sensor on or Euro 6 they are very very sensitive so there is no no leeway whatsoever if this was an older one you would have got away with it but unfortunately for this it needs a new dpf and matter sensor so see you in the next video